Less than two years after the first Catholic Bishop of Orlando was ordained, his diocese grew to over 1,500 times its original size, at least according to the letter of the Catholic Church's laws. How? Is this Orlando, Florida? Or yes, it is. Otherwise. <laughs> Orlando, Florida. Okay, I'm glad you asked that, because I also didn't know, and I also know nothing about the Catholic religion. I mean, that is exactly the trick that one of these questions would play, that it's that it's actually Orlando, Greenland, and they discovered a new island. No, this is this is actually Orlando, Florida. <laughs> when you said did you say their flock or did you say their no you said their diocese? The diocese. Okay, because if it was in Wales, it'd be like, oh, it was sheep. <laughs> <laughs> do we know what year this happened? Uh, we uh, we do. I'm not going to tell you that right now, though. Oh. I mean, could it be that, okay. like, Disney World had just been built and a lot of new people moved to Florida and a lot of them were Catholics? <sighs> that's what I was going to say. Mm. I'm, I'm keeping quiet here. You'll talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I guess that's not it. <laughs> it, be, it might not be Disney. It could be SeaWorld. Or <laughs> yeah. I feel like Tom's quietness suggests that that is what it is. Oh, is it something to maybe... Um, the Kennedy Space Center is under the jurisdiction of Orlando and it was back when the space race was happening. My goodness, there isn't like a Catholic church or something in Disney World, is there? Not to my knowledge. I feel like that's a fact that would be in the back of my head here. But uh... <laughs> I feel pretty confident that Disney does not have any churches. <laughs> no, I feel like I feel like Disney is trying to be as, as, as religion neutral as possible. But we should start a new conspiracy theory about that's what's inside the princess's castle. <laughs> Like according to the to their laws is is what he said at the end. So it seems like there's some sort of technicality there. Like mm. did the did the county yeah. orders change or something, or the city limits change? Yeah, the rule is from the 1917 Code of Canon Law, according to my notes here. 1917. So that's before any of the Disney parks. The rule came in 1917. So this this would technically have covered the opening of the Disney parks. Unfortunately, it's not that. Was it something to do... Okay, 1917 was like Prohibition era, right? I was just thinking it was something to do with like the legality of like, you know, redrawing boundaries and including people who were, you know, <gasps> bootlegging alcohol. Yes, of course, that's it. Because if you are taking the blood of Christ, you can drink alcohol. So people were pretending they were Catholic so they could have alcohol. Huh, that could be it. I love your enthusiasm there, Stuart. I love the way you were really certain that was it, unfortunately. <laughs> and it's, it's wrong, isn't it? Uh, oh, I was so behind 1917, that. 1917 is when the rule came in. Uh, mm. That kind of establishes the earliest possible date here. It was, it was a little while after that. Ah, uh, okay. So the specific rule was for land not already covered by another diocese. And just to be clear, like diocese is like land area. It's the, the equivalent of parish. So it's not necessarily the number of people, it is the area. Was it reclaimed land? Because most of Florida's like swamp. Did they drain something and create land? Not quite. Um, yeah, yeah, the thing is, you there was if you'd followed another path in this conversation a couple <laughs> minutes ago, we we oh, ah, <laughs> you you were so close. You were so close. <sighs> And the minute I give you another clue, you're all going to get it at the same time. So I'm just, I'm just going to let you stew for a little bit longer. Okay, well, what else have we said? We, we talked about space. Um, we talked about yeah. sort of city borders. Um, and I was very cagey about the year. So it could be like 69. Mm, definitely. Definitely could be 69. So it's something to do with the moon landings. Or the space race. Oh, my goodness. No, they don't technically have a diocese of the moon or something, surely. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Why would that be 1,500? <laughs> like 12 people went to the moon. <laughs> yep, but the area that it covers is 1,500 times the original size of the Bishop <laughs> of Orlando's diocese. <laughs> and I'll because... bet he's never visited it. <laughs> <laughs> number of people not land area oh my gosh <laughs> yeah Stuart, you're spot on um the rule covered instances where land wasn't already claimed by another diocese and determined that the new jurisdiction depended on the starting point of the journey hmm. so because the bishop of orlando covered the kennedy space center which, which you mentioned <laughs> becky you said that so early on and i just i, was, I can't I can't give that as a hint. We're only like 20 seconds into the question here. Uh, so <laughs> Apollo 11 departed from within that diocese. Orlando's bishop is now the bishop of the moon. 
<laughs> that is amazing. I, it makes me want to give up being an astrophysicist, go through the church, become a bishop so I can claim Bishop of the Moon. <laughs> yeah. I want to be Moon Pope. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I think that means technically the Pope is the Moon Pope. Oh, I suppose so. Yeah, yeah. Um, follow-up question. Where does that leave the International Space Station? Oh, it, oh, it would be... So who, it launched I, I mean, pieces from California and from Florida, I think, right? So Who went up there first? Um, I, I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm going to ask my producer to Google this because I really <laughs> want to know the answer to it. It would be the, the first person to head to the International Space Station would arguably be the person... The commander? So it's, it's but then they... surely it's the land that's created, which is actually the actual structure mm. itself. So is that where the structure was constructed? Or is it where oh. the structure was launched from? I, I feel like there's there's an entire... Con uh, what's what's the collective noun for bishops? Chessboard? I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, producer David has just pointed out that it would have to be the first Catholic to go to the International Space Station. If we're going off people, not... Yep. Machine. And I will say this has never been recognised in any official capacity by the Catholic Church, but Bishop William D. Borders did introduce himself as Bishop of the Moon when meeting the Pope in 1969. You can so imagine that, can't you? Like, hello, sir, I'm the Bishop of the Moon. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, since Apollo 11 departed from within the Diocese of Orlando, Orlando's Bishop became the Bishop of the Moon. 